that the blocking is just phenomenal. The way these guards pull, everybody pretty much gets picked up. As you can see, a second after I get pitched the ball, pretty much everybody is taken up. But the A-Rock is right past Levante David, a superstar in coverage, and he's going right up the field for a very big play. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another gameplay slash offensive video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys an entire offense, run plays and pass plays, that pretty much every single one of them average about 10 yards per play or more, including a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game. So stick around for that. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. And that's it. Let's get right into the video. Now, I start this game off on defense, and my opponent takes his time to go all the way down the field. On a third and goal, he rolls out and runs it in with the quarterback. Then on the two-point conversion, we get the sack and we get the stop. So we start the game down 6-0. The offense I'm using today is going to be out of the Arizona Cardinals. It's a very rare offense, and I'm pretty sure it's only found in this playbook. The formation itself is the gun open flex. I've gone over this formation a lot when it comes to some of the RPO plays. I'm going to go over some of those plays again. The four plays that I'm going to have in my audibles are going to be the Z spot, which I don't think I use very much in this video. There's two run plays. The halfback dive is your best inside run when your opponent spreads their defense. And when they pinch their defense, the best outside run is going to be the halfback toss. Now the fourth play in my audibles is the play that I went over in previous videos, the RPO rewide flat. This is one of the glitchiest RPOs in the game. Now the fifth play and the play that I will select every single time is the double post. This play right here you can see it's probably the most explosive at average 42 yards per play. Now to maximize this offense you're just going to want to make sure you have a fast tight end which is one of the reasons I picked the Bills. Dawson Knox is very fast like 88 speed and you want to make sure that you have a fast running back at the running back spot. Devin Singletary is not do we're gonna have Matt Breda running this uh, running back spot here when I come to the line of scrimmage one of the first things I notice is my opponent appears to be in an off zone coverage so that's a perfect opportunity for me to flip over to the RPO read Y flat this particular play right here you can motion out this tight end to get him out into the flat much quicker but if you don't want to give away anything you don't want to have any tells you can just run it just like this there is a trick to this though you have to throw the ball to the Y route tight end immediately the longer you hold this ball the more opportunity you have to actually get a holding penalty or an illegal man down field penalty <laughs> So you can see it's really important to get the ball out quick. You can also hand it off to the running back in that play, but typically if I call that play, it's a throw it to the tight end. On the next play, I noticed that the box is packed kind of tight. This is a perfect opportunity to hit him with a halfback toss. As on the next play, you'll see that the blocking is just phenomenal. The way these guards pull, everybody pretty much gets picked up. I get cut off, but I still break it back inside for an easy 10-yard run once again. If I rewind that back, you'll see that the blocking on this play is absolutely insane. As you can see, a second after I get pitched the ball, pretty much everybody is taken up. And this is just an easy sprint to the sideline. Now, on the next play, you can see there's really no run lanes inside or outside. I don't really feel comfortable laying that. So we're just going to go with our regular passing play, the double post here. This is something where I can pretty much throw to anybody on the field. I feel confident that every route's going to get open. But on the first play, I'm going to take this little swing route. If he's not going to cover the flats, I'm going to take that. And then once again, we almost get 10 yards again. It gets me to a third in inches as I throw an incomplete pass on the second down. So I'm going to go, I'm just going take this inside zone just to pick up that first down. We're going to use the hurry up quite a bit because we're using the same offensive plays over and over. I'm just making sure that I flip it to the open side of the field on the next play. We take it to the running back once again, make the first guy miss, and we're getting 10 yards again. So pretty much every play on this drive, we've gotten about 10 yards every single time. On the next play, we flip the play, and the second I do, I realize that this particular receiver is going to cut across this safety's face and most likely have space right in the middle of the end zone. So I'm going to make that my primary read. This is not necessarily, I mean, this route's a very good route. It beats a lot of man coverage, a lot of zone coverages. On this next play, it looks like he's in a man coverage one more time. We just dot that up for a very easy touchdown. On the defensive side, we could get our opponent to a fourth and six. I mean, he probably could have kicked the go-ahead field goal here, but field goals are for losers. This guy wants touchdowns only. I mean, on the very next play, I mean, he maybe had that drag in the flat, but ultimately forces it over the middle because of pressure, and we get the ball back. So, up one point. We're about to go up a lot more. Once again, the defensive formation is packed kind of tight, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit him with that toss one more time. Like I said, this is a very good play. You can typically get outside just about every single time. We're getting another, essentially, 10-yard carry against his uh you know what's been he's been pretty much running a man blitz from this 335 the entire game on the next play once again we hit to that flat this time he catches me but at least i get the first down we're gonna go i'm gonna hit with that hurry up one more time like i said i'm not gonna give him a lot of time to make adjustments on defense i'm just gonna basically keep him in this look because it really doesn't matter even though he's in a pretty good defense it doesn't matter what look he's in on the next play i'm reading cover three so i'm gonna show you guys my cover three one play touchdown setup i don't actually hit the uh the receiver that typically works because i'm on the wrong sideline but ultimately 
ultimately this underneath I'll swing right to the tight end will get open every single time you can see it wasn't a three cover buzz just show you guys quickly though that that route would have worked if i ran this more from the center of the field the rb route the crosser there in the middle is a one play touchdown against cover three if you set the play up like this where you essentially just put the x route on a 10 yard out route and then you can block your running back for extra blocking but you'll see the rb route does get across the field against most cover threes and then you can see we have an opening where he does get through the safety in the cornerback for an easy one play touchdown even though i don't get to show it in this gameplay back to the gameplay on the next play it looks like he's really packing the box he's been running a lot of cover zero man blitzes so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna guess that's what we're in again and i'm gonna continue to hit him with the double post this play here pretty much every route beats man but that rb route is especially a good man beater and on the next play i just have to buy a little bit of time roll out away from the pressure and i gotta be honest i think a lot of the routes were open but this was the one that i pre-diagnosed and we have a very easy touchdown to basically go up uh 14 to six i actually decided to go for two points so i'd go up nine points but my opponent didn't even let me do that as he basically quits see ya so on to the next game as my next opponent here uh, is using the buccaneers the overpowered buccaneers i like showing this against multiple opponents anyway just to show you guys it doesn't work against one player it works against multiple players on the first series though i'm trying to hit him with that halfback dive because i'm not really liking how the toss is looking and this front seven of the bucks is just shutting that down so it forces me to an early third and nine on the next play it looks like he's an all-out man blitz i try to set this play up to go to the b route although from an all-out man blitz i really don't have a ton of time so knowing that i try to give myself some check downs give myself a slant i give myself a comeback to the running back i uh, just make sure it's over the the yards to gain and i really didn't have any time for any of this anyway. but i throw it up to the rb route and sure enough he gets separation and we're gone for an easy one play touchdown the first one play touchdown of this particular video on the defensive side my opponent goes right down the field on me again but on fourth and goal he can't get anything Woo! done as we get the pressure and we're getting the ball back we're a little bit deep in our territory i go back to that halfback dive one more time like i said i'm not having a ton of success against this front seven they definitely have a better defensive line in front seven than my offensive line we're just trying to get a little breathing room to set up this pass play once again on the very next play we set up all of our man beers look like he's in a man's air again based off of those safeties i could probably hit the rb route whoever i want but the a route gets right past levante david a superstar in coverage <laughs> And he's going right up the field for a very big play. As you can see, I mean, I don't quite have the speed to just outrun everybody, but I do make one man miss. And then Levante David here is just not fast enough to catch up. And we're just going yard from 91 yards out as my opponent was in another all-out man blitz now this play works against a lot of different defenses defenses like cover two which i'm not going to show you today because nobody ran it in any of these game plays but i will show you the exact same play works the exact same way you're going to see how this a route here is going to have success you could you know make it a little bit easier by streaking the rb route once again just to basically make this a route get open even easier but this is not required it'll get open regardless you can see here i almost get a one play touchdown from 50 yards out with this setup at the end of the day though the best setup is going to be similar to the cover three one play touchdown i'm going to put the x route on a 10 yard out route then i'm going to put the rb route on a slant if you do this you'll notice that the cover two safety on the left side all but disappears from the play just got to buy a little time once again you can see the b route here is so wide open that the the free safety is not even in frame by the time i get the ball to him it looks like we're in a single high safety coverage so this is a very glitchy play against cover two also has a lot of success against cover two man the exact same way it's pretty much going to be the exact same setup put your x route on a 10 yard out route put your rb route on a slant you'll have a little bit tighter coverage because it's a man coverage you can see here um they kind of got caught up but against cover two man or zones can pretty much be the exact same play back to the gameplay my it, opponent bitch. throws it up and we get another easy interception going the other way down 14 nothing my opponent realizes this game is in the bag and he's going to go ahead and he's going to quit see ya. either that or people just having bad internet connections today so that's that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this as always hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching mad my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below